yep. ROV lengths. Sounds good. Oh, you have a sea star in the base of the crinoid. It just passed. Um, so like I was talking about the crinoids, that is the ones that has no stalk that we call free living. Most of them you be in the order of Comatolida. Uh, so we call comatolids in, and then we have the stocked one that will be in different orders. Another sea oh, pen. I love that cinema cam. Another sea pen. Yeah, think, they're everywhere. I think I might have wished the crinoid city into existence. Before I left, I said, all I want to see is sea, pen or sea lilies and crinoids. <laughs> we definitely got that today. Mm, Pretty satisfying. good current up here, huh? You can see the uh, sand ripples. Yeah. Another sea pen. Kind of looks like a meditation garden. A Zen garden. Yeah. Looks like it in that cinema cam. Oh yeah. I know. You could put a lawn chair right there. And yeah. Right. Hang underneath. Out, right? Underneath yeah. that little red palm tree. Yeah. <laughs> I could totally see making a case for calling the sea lilies the firework crinoids. <laughs> if we have the firework <laughs> coral, which is a ritagorgia, we could have the firework crinoid. There you go. What's the firework coral again? Eridogorgia is the spiral. Oh, those, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's beautiful. It's interesting that you have soft sediment and hard sediment very mixed, and they're almost equally available. So it's nice to see species from like sea pens that need soft substrate in the hard substrate in the same area. So we need to keep our eyes peeled for sea pens, huh? That would be great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. What is this thing? Oh, yeah. Really Can you nice. circle that on the telecaster? This one? Take a look uh, at that. Oh, yeah, I guess it's hard. I was looking at it in the uh, triclops. Do you see right below your laser lights? There's something. Or are oh, we passing? We're just passing top. it. No, I was looking at this thing here. Oh uh, yeah. Want to circle it? Is it still on the screen? I think it's just a sea lily. Can't really see uh, it. Is, is that it? Is it different? Yeah. Looks like a different uh, species of crinoid. Zoom in, Carlos. Yeah, it's I don't think that's what we were yeah. trying to look at. Um, we no. passed probably. Actually, it looks like there's one just to the right of the Eritagorgia, if you pan yeah, up a little. Wide, please. Actually, not even up. Uh, do you see it, Dwight? No. Can I get up and circle it, if possible? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow <that's> Jane. <laughs> There's, there's, there's sand and rock there. It looks like almost nothing, but I promise there's something okay, let's there. Zoom in. <laughs> we're already, we're also over one right now. It might even be in the drop cam. Down a little. Oh wow. Good eyes. Very good eyes. Ah, <laughs> oh, there it is. It's oh, yeah. translucent. Did you see that? It's very hard yeah. to see. Well, I saw it in the triclops, and there's more than one actually. There was one right, right in front of us in the triclops as well. What? Is this, so is this a, another it's crinoid? A, it's another crinoid. Just sort of blends in, yeah. Is this a type of sea lily so then? In this we can um, see that the pentagon shape, usually out the echinoderma they have a symmetry of uh, pentagon symmetry in Five, their yeah. development. Here you can see, but other crinoids, they can divide their uh, branch, their arms, in multiple ones. But here we can see a very uh, five specific five ones. Come wide, Incredible please. eyes, uh, Jane. <laughs> Thanks. Twenty twenty vision, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there's only look 
seeing <laughs> through one eye. It's not 2020. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, very nice. Oh, you know what? I don't even think I took photos of it. That's all right. <laughs> Is there a squat lobster in there? No, I something did. Else you no, there's say? definitely no. something in that. I think I just got. Yeah, it's probably a star. In that erratic gorgia right there. Oh, well, could be a lobster. I zoom in, huh? Yeah, it looks like a squat lobster. Do your squats. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Do we have any slurps left? One slurp. One slurp. But we were told explicitly not to collect any more squat oh, lobsters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Under no uncertain terms. <laughs> <laughs> the charges is full of them. We have, let's see, one, two, three. Uh, at least three. <laughs> so now is the the time for Ambelulas, if you see. All right, we're waiting. <laughs> we'll come wide, pal. We have a lot of rocks too. There's eight rock samples. We there. have mm, plenty of rocks. This has definitely it's been our first one. It's got to be the last thing we get, though. Well, actually, the last thing we should get is a Niskin. Okay, yeah, of course. And we haven't really gotten many Niskins. Not that I'm complaining, because I'll be processing a lot of samples can, at five ooh, in the morning. We can try to get nis a Niskin of rocks. What does that process look like, Jane? <laughs> uh, it's a lot of filtering water. It's a lot of standing at the sink and pouring more water into a 100 milliliter beaker that gets filtered. And so that water gets filtered through, I can't remember the size of the filter paper, but we collect all of the DNA. I think it might be five microns or something. It's small enough to prevent DNA strands from going through, but sm even smaller things like microbi mi microbes, like bacteria will, um, will not get stuck there. So we're looking specifically for coral genotypes, um, and potentially sponges, things that we're curious about in the area. Um, so we have to have a library of genetic markers in order to test for what we're looking for. So we'll, I believe uh, Steve Oskovich, who's a scientist, one of the lead scientists on this, has a whole library that he's been building of all these different species that we can look for with genetic markers from the water samples. But it's a lot of standing around pouring water into containers. <laughs> But definitely worth it for the information that we get, right? Hmm? I said definitely worth it for the information that we yes, get. Yes, definitely. Them. I don't even mind it. It's just, it goes slowly, that's all. Yeah. And everybody else is looking at squat lobsters next to me, and I'm <laughs> jealous, so. So we have that same question again in the chat. What is the interest in squat lobsters on this dive? And one of our scientists aboard is studying and classifying squat lobsters. So this is one of our focus for this dive and all of the dives in this expedition. So Dr. Paulo Rodriguez, that's a um, fellow in the Harvard Museum. So she's uh, studying mainly the, she's assessing the biodiversity, but also the evolution of these, some of these the groups of squat lobsters. And um, that's very import important for us first to understand the biodiversity of deep sea, but also how its organisms are associated with each other, since usually most of the time, Squat lobster, you be um, associated with corals or sponges. So um, we we have um, it, it's um, a, a honor to have um, expertise. Oh, there's a little squat urchin. Lobster here. Urchin, urchin. And the triclops. There is a small urchin on the left. Yes, and Paula has expertise and enthusiasm. A lot. In spades. Yeah. No, it's okay. 
Definitely. So I'm seeing all these purple colonies, but I don't think it's um, oh, is this Victogorgia. It'd actually, be could we? Hold on. You don't think it's Victogorgia? I think she was mentioned that the ones that has the white uh, stem, you be a different identification. Huh. But um, I need to check my notes to see. There was something, if you could pan left slightly, um, there was something that I thought might be of interest, perhaps for maybe a C pen or. Is it in the down? It was pan? in the triclops a moment ago. We might have have to move back a little bit or something. Is it in the down cam? Uh, no, that's the sponge. Yeah, just keep going back a tiny bit and yeah, then to the left. We're just doing it slowly. Oh, is so that I don't a bathopathies? Okay, never mind. Sediment. Is that a bathopathies in, in the bottom next to the sea urchin there, Haisa? I'm trying to find where you were. You turn it down. Not in the on? triclops, in the main feed. This one? Yes. Uh, we'd have to take a zoom. Look, looks mm. a little bit like that. Zoom there, if you Sorry, like. Sorry, I wasn't sure if it might be a something else. Yes, could be a patipatis. If we could zoom just to check if there is an associate there. Not really in the hard position. to see. Small. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's indeed a black coral, probably a uh, bat bat subalternata. Okay. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, sorry. I thought it might be something we no, hadn't, hadn't no, seen as frequently. No, but it is amazing. Frequently. I think, and there is a sea urchin in front. Yeah, the urchin's yeah. cool. Very spiny. Yeah, we have one in Northeast Atlantic, Sidari. Sidari. Those are very hard to collect. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Uh, you can grab them by the spines and then they just kind of shed them. <laughs> no, we don't need to collect it. <laughs> we got enough things crawling around trying to escape in the bio boxes as it is. Yeah. All right, can we come wide, please? Thank you. All right. That's perfect. Thanks so much. Sorry that I in interrupted you slightly before, Haisa. Uh, no, 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 not at all. In, uh, please, if you use your eyes <laughs> <laughs> to spot anything. Um, so I think we have a sponge that um, uh, looks like... Lynette, do you know the depth at Waypoint 9? The dive plan, it's... Uh, Regradella? Maybe. Looks oh. like it's shallower than 1300. I think it's a Tritoplora. It looks flatter. Um, yeah, I only have the depth from the oh. dive plan. Oh, okay. Indeed, yeah. Yeah, the Rigadrilla would be more round. The Rigadrillas, those are the ones that are basically like tubes, right? Hollow tubes? They have, and they have that. Um, I was like, usually I like to see in the top because then you can see the. It looks like a net. Um. Okay, guys, if, uh, if it's all right with you, um, the conditions are quite benign, um, and Mike has shown an interest in piloting the vehicle. Um, so I'm going to let him take yeah. over for a bit as long as you guys are okay with that go, for it. go Mike when you say benign does that mean the current has slowed? yeah there's uh, not a lot of current in this area there's no cliff and overhang and lots of things to hit and um, you know set him up for success right did not want to put too many things at you at once So Lynette, it's I think it's like 1270. So what's our recovery time at 1270? Or ascent time rather? Uh, yeah. 29. Stand by. I think it was about an hour and a half. Should 
be just an hour though, a little 65 minutes. And we've been going about, uh, uh, yeah, about 2.30. A little okay. more than an hour. All right. And uh, yeah, I'll have to turn back to the right to take out that turn. All right, we'll call it 2.50 to be off the bottom. Oh, okay. wow, okay. So that's... All right, you don't have stick lock. Nope, no, there's no autos, no stick lock at the moment. As you Copy. see, it's not uh, not drifting too far, so the current's uh, subsided a little bit. What's our heading again? Uh, 2.20, so you want to go, uh, yeah, turn to starboard. There you go. How high have you been keeping up? Um, well, the rocks do vary in size. I've, I've been trying to keep at least about two meters up. Um, and then if they want to see anything, you can come in lower. It's a different colored crinoid there. Oh, yeah. Be careful with them. Um, so in this view, we can see a few octocorals, loads of crinoids. And the higher boats there, probably... A you can even keep it at... Uh, uh, three meters ish. Yeah, we're, we're coming That's up slope, and the well. uh, DVL's at the back. So even if it says three meters, the front will not be three meters off the sea floor. There is another sea pin the right about Cena. Mm -hmm. Loads of comatolites. Looks like a fish up here. Oh yeah, a fish. Fish. Is that the Coryphenoides that we're always looking for? Is it? I don't know. There's another one of that spindly yellow. C pens? Yeah, five um, arms. And that is one we don't we haven't seen very often, right? No, just now that um, Janie side spotted, but this one is quite bigger compared to the other ones. Should we maybe do a zoom so that we can get a better image of it? We didn't get a great one. It was so hard to see on the other one. Uh, yeah. Please. Mark, tell me whenever you're ready. I'm not sure if the watch before ours saw this one or not. Absolutely amazing. Are you getting still caps? Yes, looks like you are. Cool. Cup coral in the foreground here too. Yeah, if you need them to frame it up in the in the um, cinema camera, they they can probably do that. They can, you know. But yeah, I got a right. nice shot. Of the cinema, because the triclops they can't zoom, so when we yep. need to zoom, it has to be the. Yep. Oh, triclops can't zoom? Well. Oh, wow, it doesn't want to stay. No, you might have to um, go 100% verts down to get it to stay. It'll, it might teeter a little bit on a rock, but it'll settle out eventually, and then you'll then you use the pan and tilt. There you go. 
You can go ahead and zoom in. Wow. Can you come up on nice, Delta? Yeah. Anytime <laughs> if I find myself like leaning back with my neck if the <laughs> camera is not quite where it is yet, like when it's in the process of panning and tilting. So wow. It's quite a large as well. Stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> wow, fantastic. You can see uh, the pinnels of the, the arms. There you go. Awesome. It has like a tiny a little five-point star in the very center. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, well. <laughs> of course you want to go down. <laughs> Actually, they're the same. The what goes down must come up. See stars, they are in the same group. Looks As like a little twinkle yeah. twinkle. All crinoids, yeah. All, All right. Crinoids, yeah. Did you get what you needed? I believe so. Hopefully. Yeah, that's perfect. And there is a star of Pates in the back. But That's a star of pathings? Looks like, yeah. I think we collect um, one with um, squat lobster. Yeah. Thanks so much for the zoom. You're welcome. There's quite a few of those now. And C pen as well. Another about Cena. Do you want to take a look at the purple one and try to get the ID on that better? I believe it's Chief Gott. The only thing, because I, I, I was hearing, but um, I didn't take note. Because uh, usually the purple one, some of the columns called with um, Peter Gorgia. Yeah. Is that a yes or? You can zoom on the one since you're right here, sure. But you're not sure about this one? Yeah, because he was explaining, looks like this one would be, but uh, he was explaining one that is um, white axe. Could be something different. Um, I don't have the shot with me, but there, did someone mention something? No. All right, you can zoom. Wow. And if you need a picture with the lasers off, we can do that too. Well, fantastic, because we can see the polyps extended and the polyps contracted. Yeah. So it's amazing shot too. The colors are gorgeous. And even though it's not the same colony, I believe could be the same species. The difference is that Victor Gorgia usually has a white axis color under the polyps. Puramaceid is purple throughout. So some of the purple corals apparently are paramaraceid as opposed to Victor Gorgia. I'm just looking back in the science cha chat from oh, Steve oh. earlier. Victor Gorgia usually has a white axis, so the more purple ones so this would be the Victor Gorgia. Purple. Sorry, the more purple ones would be the paramore seeds. There we go. Yep. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Yeah. My hands are up. I can use them all the way up so I can fix the pan. So probably these ones would be Victor Gorgia. Yeah. Thanks, Jane, for the check. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you. All right, you can keep moving if you'd like. Oh, okay. I just need to know where I am in relation to the... Uh ah. I have a tentative ID on the yellow sea lily. Hi, Hyocrinidae. Hyocrinidae. Can I get lasers, please? 
Oh, yes, genus, can. you be the genus. Looks, looks Super great to me. Crinus. All right, here we go. Tiburonicrinus. Tiburonicrinus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In Latin, at least. Grace Gorgia uh, with a squat. Squat lobster. Or maybe it wasn't Christ Gorgia. I don't think, yeah, because there is so many ideas for different Rosa Gorgias. <laughs> well, it almost looked like that um, Rodana Rita Gorgia, but I didn't get a good look at it. Not as many sponges up here. No. No, it's like looks like um, crinoids and Victorgia is and the uh, was like a dominant. And some sea pens. And interesting to think that this is the same sea melt that had those giant boulders from earlier today too. I think we're about to get quite flat as well. Yeah. Let's see the Atlanta. Is it possible to tilt down the camera? How's that? Another Bautzina, another C yeah. pen in okay. the left. Thank you. Actually, two more. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting close already. So, Haisa, when you see C pens that you know, or you get really excited about what are we looking for exactly? Copy. Well, for me, it's more, it will be similar work uh, like Paula, but it will be the group that I work with, it will be C Pen. So, first is assessing the biodiversity of them um, and also do a revision in terms of taxonomy. And through that, we can do uh, work with the phylogeny that's as that is how they this biodiversity how they each of them it will related with each other and through that we can see which traits evolve in the group which one was um, like they share a common ancestral or which one was like the environment that shaped that trait for instance for uh, Ambelulas that has all the polyps in the distal part, uh, we discovered recently, oh, right actually here? 10 well, years further ago, over. that they come from different clades, uh, that Kay. they're not really close related. Are we, are we related, here to maintain so a 220? Probably was okay. the environment that shaped that. So for us to discover this type of um, how, how mm -hmm. the evolution mm -hmm. happens in the deep sea. Wow, a lot going on there. Um, yeah, that's a ton of yellow crinoids and ophiroids on a dead sponge stock. It's a prime so location, it looks like. We have some bamboo corals as, as well in the left. And branched ones. <coughs> Something else we should add to the board is how many times I've misspelled ophioroids when I'm typing yeah. fast. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin <laughs> on that. <laughs> it's a lot of vowels and weird orders. <laughs> o, P, H, E. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> o, R. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Epsilon. <laughs> So here oh, we, we start seeing more bamboo, I believe, colonies. Uh, but maybe can be some primenoids as well. 
There's a current like it's like turning me. <laughs> it's like um, wanting to turn me. Hold on a sec here. Dwight, what would you call up. these like holes sort of in the rock features? Very interesting. Is there a term for that that or a way of describing uh, that would be geologically sound? Who is here? Yeah. Could you have a look there, I don't there, know. Please. There's um a lot of ferromanganese crusts, like welded crusts here, so the rocks are pretty well altered here. Um, but the main rock is still basalt, and basalts get sort of oh, what am I doing? You know, it's inverted holes in them from gas that escapes and things like that, and that control, gets like, I was like, eroded oh. over time. Hmm. But I'm not really sure that's what we're looking at. Is that what they said? Can you have a look here, please? Is there is something in the soft sediment that I don't recognize the shape. I don't know if they are in the border of the hard substrate or. Um, I can get closer, I guess. So loads of. Yeah, this is here. quite a uh, diverse assembly. Yeah, there, there's right? like. I'm trying to find a place that's not squishing on anything. I, mean, I could try to yeah, hold it. Looks so. like sorry is in the hard substrate. Is that the thing you're looking at there by the lasers? Yeah, that is no problem. Oh yes, yeah, I thought. It's Interesting. I can't really see if it's in the border of the hard substrate, is it in the rock, or if it's on the sand. But I believe it's in the the hard substrate, probably. It looks like there is a squat probably. lobster there. Is that a Chrysogorgia bottle brush type thing? You can zoom. Uh, what am I doing? There you go. Yeah, it's on the rock, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm still not sure, but it's really the border. I hate how jumpy this thing is. Yeah, when you're zoomed in, it's stuff. And there is a tiny squat, squat lobster. lobster. Tiny yeah. there. You can go for a full zoom there. Small. That's cool. Two centimeters. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah awesome. right? Looks like a little aquarium. Uh, that, so that you can get tension here or you can get tension there. That's perfect. Thanks so much. Another beautiful shot from mm -hmm. the cinema cam. And as soon as you Thank can, you. Uh, when, you, when, you, when you get the moment, can you like raise delta to like Let's 18 or something? Focus. Oh. It's not so bad right now. Is that a brittle star Is sticking out? Yeah. yeah. All right. Waving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it goes up and down really slow, but like. Here we have loads of sea pens, but all about Cena so far. So how you said, if we're looking for an umbalula or a salumbalula, we're looking in the sandy area or the or the rocks. Uh, most of them have been in the sandy area. Okay. Uh, but we know there is few, very few, up, up to now only three species described of sea pens that we call rock pen because they change their their peduncle that, that they're just distal part that they use, the proximal part that they use to anchor in the sand, they, they adapted this to to, to um, attach in hard substrate. So we can keep the eye in both, in, in both like in the, right. and so far ha we saw only one rock pen, so hopefully we see more
you only saw one rock pen when this dive or in this position yeah as maybe you can if a lucky we can see one in this dive maybe uh -huh. also you can turn on the lights um which are those ones in the ones here like I usually put on five or six. That way you can see the tether. So I don't a know huge bamboo coral. And here you can see French notes very well. Mm. And those were the notes we talked about earlier that aren't necessarily the same distance between each one. Exactly, yeah. They, they're not equal distance, um, can, can vary in the distance between them. We're at 293 now. I it's know. usually hovering around 3-something. It was 500 when we started this a couple weeks ago. It was sick, you know, 590-something. Oh. And look, another one. We just put oh, black tape fish. over it. <laughs> <laughs> it's <right>. fixed. <laughs> So I don't think those were the Coryphenoides. The Coryphenoides, if you guys remember, had the um, like modified pectoral fins that had like a little bifurcation. It had a little bit of a wider head. Was it a halosaur? I think so. Was that the first one we've seen? Not on the on this dive. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's the first one we've seen all day. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I don't think 20, I've ever 20, seen a 20, shrimp 40, before. 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57. I thought they came breaded. Don't yep. get it confused with the squat lobster count, a uh, squat spot. <laughs> well, on this uh. paper, this is where stuff's been keeping. I've got 59 shrimp. That's a lot. That lies. I didn't know they saw three Dumbo octopus. Yeah, and they tried to trick us with six whale falls, too. Six <laughs> whale falls. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Horde of lies. <laughs> lies by 8 to 12, watch one. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll leave it there for them. <laughs> well, look, Amelia Earhart's ship. Oh. <laughs> oh, aircraft. Oh, we'll just leave it here. It's fine. <laughs> Another sea pen, about Sina. This one? Uh, about Sina, uh, the currently there is five species described for this genus. Uh, I believe two before we, we believe is uh, present in the Pacific. So, but like uh, genetic data. Oh, look at those data punches over there. Is that sand? Show that they are very close related. So we still need to do further um, studies and do a review. This could be potentially the Californica. 
Well, Could if you'd like to sample one, we have room and we have one slurp sample. Okay. Um, maybe I let for Umbalula that's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to save it for our Umbalula that we're waiting for, huh? It might get more sandy up at the top as it gets flatter. We're almost there. Can you zoom in a little bit? Is that a shrimp? That's a shrimp in his home. I think that just got us to 50. Are we sure that's a shrimp? That's not a mushroom coral? No. Question mark? Shrimp. shrimp. You're right. <laughs> Is that a very, bi very big shrimp? Yeah. I right, can zoom out. That's a. Eaten size. Looks like that shrimp is living in that little cave all by himself, or itself, very happy. Just meandering about. Waiting for Atlanta. Now we are in Victor Gorgia City. Yeah, I'll say. Oh, look at this fella. Mm. It's taller than Herc. Pretty tall. It's really, wow. I'm already a, like uh, two meters, meters up. Yeah. I'm already two meters up, yeah. There's a lot of them. Yeah. yeah them. Seems like the faunal assemblage has not really changed too much since we started on watch. Kind of like no, the only moderately spart or moderately moderately dense. <laughs> yeah. um, I think the only thing that changed was the crinoids. What do you mean? Uh, one of them we, before the five. Uh, arms one, we haven't seen the Chiburu, oh. Chiburu Nicrinos. I love how you pronounce that. Can you say it again? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Such a beautiful pronunciation. <laughs> but in general, we've been seeing a lot of the purple, either Victor Gorgio or purple paramarciids, and then tons of yellow crinoids, some sea lilies, and and then some more occasional octocorals of various species seems Another pretty pretty Chiburu stable. <laughs> Here? Yep. Ah. Yeah, of course, yes. Can't forget that. This look, sounds like tiburon. Tiburon, yeah. Little well, shark. Yeah. <laughs> we saw a shark earlier. Well, what? I saw a shark earlier. Tell us about it. At the surface. It was at the surface, yes. Not on the camera. Um, it was doing its shark thing, had its fins out of the water a few times, checked out the boat, swam by. Amazing. That's about, about all it did. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for food. That wasn't as good of a story as I hoped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the story. Was it easy to see or did you have just... Um, yeah, question? when it was alongside us, it was pretty easy to see, but then it moved on pretty quick. It wasn't too big. It was maybe four feet long or something slender body. I don't know. I'm not great at identifying sharks from the surface. Some people I know can just see a blob and instantly identify it, but that has never been me. There is a sponge in the back. Yeah. Is that crinoid on that sponge? Uh, yeah. Is that one of the regadrellas? Looks like this one more round and more... Instead of a crinoid on it, too. Looks like they have... Um, what's going on? It's got a little hat. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, I was trying to find the word, like, what's the... Fascinator, right? Is it some small fish, too, yeah, right swimming so. from the left? <laughs> or maybe that's another shrimp. I think it's a shrimp. Oh! Oh, my. Oh, oh, something's boys. in crinoids, too. 
Or not so crinoids. Are those brittle stars? Oh, ophiroids. Yep, those me. are brittle stars. Why are they falling off? We haven't even gotten they're that close. Like, we're done they with tell. this sponge. <laughs> they uh, they tell. I feel nervous about this. inside, too, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Well, that's where you climb up. Oh. <laughs> nah, it's like a ride. Yeah. Have you ever been like on a super slide or something? <laughs> and then you jump off. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> that's how they get their kicks. You know. That's very nice looking. Looks kind of like a knitted blanket. <laughs> it does. Crocheted, right? But this sponge doesn't look a very healthy one. Mm. All right, zoom all the way out. Looks more... Uh, There's a big shrimp coming in from the right. Another shrimp. You can see it really well on the Triclops cam. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> shrimp. More shrimp. Yeah, we've gotten a chat that we might see some of those white tips on recovery, so we'll keep an eye out for that. Sharks, that is. They do tend to like the lights at night. It's the only time I've ever well, seen them. Oh, yeah, we haven't actually it's recovered. recovering at night in the lights when they come to the surface. Has this what? We haven't recovered at night, have we? No, not no. yet. No. That I'm successfully. Tonight's the night. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way, Michael. You're right. There you go. 220, yeah. Yeah, re it's really good. flattening out off here, but it's still kind of rocky. Yeah. Seems like the center of the seamount has a little bit of a grade to it again, almost like a little nubbin. A little or nubbin. Rob's nubbins. Yep. Might have a little moat around it. <laughs> a moat? You think that's actually deeper there? Well, in the flatter mouse image, it looked that way. It might not have been deep enough to contour. No, those contours show it just going up. But we'll, we shall see. Hoping for a, a moat of hydrates or something. That'd be cool. <laughs> All I can think of is crocodiles in the moat. Yeah. <laughs> That would be a discovery. <laughs> I think we passed with uh, Ray Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Another one. A little more sparse here. Looks like the current here is a bit stronger. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> the, the sediment, you can see how the ribs there. Yeah. yeah. So maybe there's an optimum current that probably is the best for the future feeders. Um, Are we saying it's optimal commit conditions? Pardon? Were you saying it's optimal conditions for the... I think probably where we see more abundance and diversity, probably it is. Uh, here, with the m if you see the substrate, you can see the sand ri rips. Mm -hmm. like, the uh, ripples in the sand. Ripples, yeah. yeah. So probably is an indicative of a very strong current. Uh, so some of the species would be too much for them. Lynette, could you please seasons. zoom out on the HIPAC uh, survey screen just so I can see what is on the other side sure. of this waypoint? Uh, Loads of seabeds. Contours don't really go. Uh, we didn't fill in the contours. I think I, I'm starting to get a feel for like when it's heavy. So it's not really that steep. Get used um, to it. Yeah. That's good. That's good, man. Okay. What's going on to the right? We don't really know. Uh, oh, you're not talking over about here? Yeah. 
Yeah, hard to say from this image. Okay. I mean, we would certainly, like, if we wanted to go right, we'd be going down slope a while. Yeah. I mean, I guess anywhere. Anywhere from the peak, we'd be no, going I'm down No, I'm just a little slope, concerned so. that this summit may be a little anticlimactic. Yeah. So thinking what else we could do for the last hour. <laughs> With that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> go back and find those Dumbo octopus. We could do donuts in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say the word. <laughs> Sand? <laughs> no. Isn't there some rule about wraps on the tether? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, just yeah, 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 one way a couple yeah. times, and then we just have to reverse that direction. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a black coral on the right there. At Atlanta. Where? Oh, just uh, noting uh, to Haisa, here? a black coral, yeah. What was the name of that species? Again, we've seen that a number of times. All right, here we go for I a picture. I always forget it. Um, the one that we collect. I think we did. Was it? If it's the one that we collect, because from this distance I can I can identify, but if it's uh, resemble a little bit that one, could it be Sibopatis or Lilipatis. Wow, the view. beautiful picture. That's really cool, and the mm -hmm. triclops. And that's from the back of the crinoid. Wow, I was trying to get onto the rock. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. So is this still quite diverse? You know, we have black coral, we have uh, two, t two species of crinoids, we have bamboo coral, we have um, octocoral, Victor Gorgia, we have lots of associates that we can see as well. Anything you want to look at? Should we do a Niskin? Wait. Around, yeah. Uh, I think Steve was waiting for the top. For yeah, the, for we the have background several. sample, yeah. I think we have several Niskins. Yeah, let's wait till we get to the top and we'll see what's there and then decide. Okay. And you have sea pens as well. But of course. Yeah, which sea pen exactly are we looking for? These ones here that we have seen that is this uh, stick with smaller polyps in ridge that yep. is Bauticina. Okay. Um, but uh, if we find, like, for collection, you'll be mostly uh, Antoptila, that's the rock pen. Yep. And uh, the ones that looks like Ambelula, Solambelula as well. Okay. Um, that would be the target in terms of collection. Okay. I'm not sure they're on this page. Have you looked at? Yeah, uh, as well. This ones. Uh, this one here. If you find that's the yellow one, that would be. This one. Yeah, that definitely haven't been described. Pentalula. Penatula. Okay. Uh, Penatula, yeah. And then the ones, the other ones, is the. has all the pom pom in the top, like. these ones. Oh, yeah. These ones, yeah. Alright, cool. Be on the lookout. If you want to pick up the speed a little bit. Yeah, I'm just waiting to no, get in front of Anna with the ship. If, what, what are we doing? Point two, Lynette? Yeah, we're at point two. We can up it to point three, if you'd like, or more. I'm happy to do that. And then okay. if we um, are a little dissatisfied with what's at the summit, we can keep going down the other side. Sure. Okay. Bridge now. Uh, can we increase speed to 0.3 knots, please? Thank you. Oh, man, 0.3. We're cooking with gas. Oh, yeah. Everyone want to have their seatbelts on? Mm -hmm. Strap in. Mm -hmm. 0.3 knots, right? Not 0.3 C. 
<laughs> Everyone strap in five miles an hour. Hey, in like 1920, that was neck breaking speeds. A lot of the same. A lot of these tall fellas. So, it's two loads of C pens here. What? Ah, says. Rhinoid. Is that a star? Anything you want to zoom on? Oh, I think here, maybe, I don't know, but it's a Victor Gorgia. I think it's pretty much everything we have already. Yeah. We have another seaman, few, few of them, crinoids, the two types of crinoids. Yeah, we've seen those. There's a larger sea pen that's a darker color that's less common on the right side there. In which camera? In the main Herc camera. Where? Uh, five o'clock from the lasers. Four o'clock from the lasers. This, that's a granite. This is uh, granite. just next to it, below it now, directly below the lasers now. Oh, I see. Yep. I wish I was closer to the telecaster. <laughs> <laughs> we can switch seats, but no, that'd no, be a no. terrible data logger. No, <laughs> it's all good. We need to give you a uh, wand. Oh, a laser? A laser no, pointer? No, awesome. Like a wand. <laughs> Dang. <a> Telestrate. <laughs> well, Rennie had a stick. It looks like, looks like a crinoid. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a crinoid. It's just a different color. We've really only seen the sea lilies and the yellow free yeah. yeah, why not? What else we got going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Like, there's the stick. <laughs> I think we banned all laser pointers yeah. from the control <laughs> van. We used to have them. <laughs> You'd be more here. Come on. Do what I want you to do. Alright, zoom all the way out. He's not doing what I wanted to do. Nice shot with those two different crinoids. Yeah, so now probably this is the fourth morpho type of crinoid we're seeing. Two stalked and two um, free living comatulates. Okay, yep. Confirmed it's a darker crinoid. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but it's is it, crinoids is very, is very it's nice. It's nice in the uh, Triclops cam, if you could take a photo, Haisa. Yeah. That's I did. I oh, nice. I okay. Oh, okay. Another one Thank just you. to guarantee. Is there like a nodule? Like a little, what's on it? Like there's a dark spot on it, so. On this like stem thing there, do you see in it? In the center? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead I do and zoom. Nice. Good eyes tonight. Yeah, you're sharp, like. Oh, you're looking at that crinoid. What is that? What are we looking at? I'm or looking the, at the dark spot that's <laughs> like in the middle. Where the lasers are? Yeah. Well, is that what you're looking at? There's like this darker spot on the yellow one right here. <laughs> the one I in the background or the one in the foreground? The one in the foreground. Is that well, the spot? Okay, it just so looks like like gathering stuff. It doesn't look like anything. Looks like just some yeah, mucus or yeah, yeah. yeah. But, 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 mm. You know, but further you back. See, you see the the small microscopic uh, uh, fluff. It's a nice picture. It's a very nice picture. Yeah. Imagine this, but like 
bigger than my body. <laughs> and, okay. it's one, and it's one polyp. <laughs> That's what I saw last year. So it's interesting that I feel like these have evolved almost the same body shape as, for instance, the Solon Balula, right? I mean, they have the long, long stalk and then the yeah. Yeah, in tentacle like. I think in the deep sea, sometimes in some environments, you're going to see the same shape of organisms, like uh, there is the crino stalked crinoids, the umbellopathies, the umbellulas, uh, some is some of the Chrysogorgia, so this we call um, convergent evolution. Mm -hmm. That's not that they are related, uh, but they, right right the environment the shapes yeah. they are formed. Yeah, come out too much. Yeah. We're still 20 meters apart, I'm just letting you know. Got some great piloting Mike, can happening. Can you please down a little bit? Well, now we speed up. That's <laughs> fast. <laughs> 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 yeah. I just wanted to get out. From Looks Adelana. like the trailer to a movie down here. Nice Atalanta view. It is. It's cool. I you're love welcome. the sand you're ripples welcome. in the shadows. I know. You know what? You're welcome. <laughs> Actually, that was James this time, so I can't. I mean, I positioned it, so. Warp speed. I'll take credit. Yep. Hey, look, rocks. Oh, there's a shrimp, Atalanta. Sure. There's a what? There's a shrimp in the Atalanta. Oh, people. I thought you said a shark. No. I was like, what? Not yet. Not yet. Like the optimism. Hey Mike, is it okay with you if you tilt down? So in that now past, I was trying to check the per the correct term for the crinoids because we could see each that um, small sections and that called columnal, and that usually is what find in fossil. We could most of the times we don't find the whole crinoid. Sometimes yes. Hmm. But usually we find that small segment of their stalk. Right. Hi, Isa. I was reading that C pens glow um, when stimulated. Is that the same with deep sea ones? Uh, that sea pens, pardon? They can glow. They can move, yes. Is that, uh, yeah. Like, do uh, they give off light? If they f fly to. Uh huh. Can they light up? S ah, glow, you mean? Yeah. Ah, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. They glow, like. The glow, grow? <laughs> glow in the, in the blow? wind. Glow? <laughs> in the current. <laughs> yeah, actually, the two. So indeed, uh, actually, crinoids also is can be bioluminescent. Oh, Looks I like didn't know that. F five species of crinoid has been described uh, as a bioluminescent, and uh, s lots of uh, organisms in the deep sea also can use bioluminescence. For we're not sure yet for exactly, uh, but overall, we think can be for defense or for find food or even to find mate. Um, for some species of uh, fish, or or depends of their 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 organism in, in, in their life history. But uh, sea pen to be one of them. And there is some studies, mainly I think in Renila, that's a shallow water one. Okay. Even though they're shallow water, they're they're trying to isolate the genes. Um, to know more about because it's very little we know. Then are they called sea pens just because of their shape? Yeah, the first uh, species described is mostly the one that looks like a feather. So uh, they're very abundant. They could be very abundant in, in, the, in shallow waters as well as in the deep sea. Now we have gardens of them and I think they got the common name uh, because of this uh, species that has this feather for uh, yeah, it looks like a quill, a quill mm. pen. Yeah. yeah. 
but then there is Kelly. different to other forms as well. We're only really seeing the one kind here, right? So far? So far it was only yeah. one, yeah. I see jelly or something. Mm, yeah, there's something swimming. Mm. And the triclops. What is that? Is that a siphonophore? for? I can't see any. A jelly, I think, maybe. Uh, no? No, no, it might just be that little no, bit of larvation any, or like mucus. Oh, gross. Gelatinous mass. Gross. Get it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop coming at me. <laughs> oh, this is like an interesting... Like, I always find it interesting the way sediment to set, like where formations. That's what I'm looking for. Seems like the ophioroids are just willingly falling off anything that the light touches. Mm. Just saw another one fall off the uh, sea lily, the Tiberian Nicrinus. <laughs> what is it? Tiberian Nicrinus? Yeah, Tiberian Nicrinus. are the same CP C pens we were seeing before, right? Yeah, so far I believe all the ones that we have seen, that's quite abundant actually. Yeah, there's um, a lot of them. Yeah, lots of them I think is all of the same species. Um, is that an urchin or something in front of that rock? Yeah, are you talking yeah. about that black thing? Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. going to go like settle down and then zoom in on it in a that second. That sounds good. I'm going to go check it out, see what it is. As I'm going to vote crinoid or sea lily. As we wait for uh, Adam. Mm, what would make you think it's, it's a crinoid? <laughs> Maybe not, though. It looks more furry. It looks sideways, so... Eh, hey, what are you? Interesting. You're definitely Any guesses? Oh, I bet it's an gross. anemone. Oh, yes. A tube anemone. Serientaria? Oh, I see it now. It took me a minute to see that. Go ahead, so. Oh wow, the picture of Yeah, it's a tube anemone. Wow, that's, that's so cool. Okay. It's got those shorter tentacles on yeah. alert in the front. A uh, what is it? A party in the front, bus oh, business in the front, party in the back. It's <laughs> <laughs> got a mullet. It's a mullet of anemones. <laughs> that is so funny. A millenniumini. <laughs> a millennium. Oh, and there's a, a sponge right behind it in the rock. In the rock, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of poking cool. out. We would have never seen that. I know, we're so focused on the anemone. Oh, oh. No, Not sure I'm what kind of sponge that is, though. That is looks like the hairy one we saw in the first time. Yeah. Is that full, full zoom? Yes, it is full zoom. It's like I'm just gonna let the wind take my hair. Jane, how do those anemones work? Um, well, they have nine to fives. <laughs> you said zoom out? <laughs> yeah, zoom out, please. Um, how do they work? Cue, so cue they're the, cue the Dolly Parton song. <laughs> I work in a team. <laughs> so similar to um, corals, truly. I mean, they're in the same phylum. They're actually quite closely related to corals. They, similar to 
corals have tentacles that they use to capture food in the water column, but they are much more um, soft if you poke them. Although some of them do have some stinging cells, for sure. Um, they tend to have the longer, long, longer uh, tentacle polyp, or polyp tentacles, excuse me. And yeah, I don't know too much about this specific type. I guess if it's a tube anemone, that means that it burrows into the sand and creates a tube to hold on inside the soft sediment. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, nice. I like how you're framing that picture up for us. I just love how it has the longer tentacles. It looks with the like shorter uh, ones. Looks like a prototype of the plant monster from Super Mario Brothers. From the first <laughs> one, like the I OG see one. it. I see it. <laughs> the very yeah. first one. All right. Yeah. Did you get the picture? Yes. All right. Thank you. That's perfect. Thank you. Oh, well, that's quite a okay. large. Kind of, kind of I guess. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'll cut over. Whoa, look at that one. So in the class Antazoa where we have our the most of scores is is part of it. We have three <coughs> subclasses, the Hexacoralia that has um, the hard corals, the black corals, then we have the Octocorals that has the sea pans, has what was before the Oceanaceous, and uh, Sedientaria that's the tube anemones, so they, they are related but they, they are of a uh, different subclass. Seems like the higher we're getting here, the less coral we're seeing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. womp womp. That seeds have, have changed a lot. I think now the most common we can see now, but also we are a little bit um, driving a little bit high from sediment. I think if you we go a little bit lower, we would be able to see more. So big colonies of um, bamboo corals, loads of crinoids. So far we have seen four different morphotypes of crinoids, two comatolites and two stocked crinoids. Loads of bautzina, that's a sea pen. And a big change in what we are seeing the beginning of the this dive. Here, I think the most abundant coral of the coral has been Victor Gor Gorgia. It's fun. <laughs> okay. It is fun.
Maybe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chocolate? Yeah, I guess. Here, pass one to Lynette. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like, I'm holding you at gunpoint. <laughs> Basically. Not bad that we're, we're just keeping us at one meter. Can't talk chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it did get a little bit quiet around here. I wonder why. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> just a little midnight snack at 1.30. <laughs> Huh? Would you like a Nutri-Grain bar? No, thank you. <laughs> that look. <laughs> Healthy food? What? Get me chocolate. Shrimp. I'll add that one to the count. Thank you. It is so easy to get ahead of Atlanta. I know. Argus is like zooming on by. Argus will come in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> I'm trying to not sing. <laughs> Almost there, huh? 100 meters or so? Yep, 170. Oh, what's that? That looks like a urchin. Urchin, urchin. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> urchin. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's possible to fly a little bit closer of this substrate? Huh? It's possible to to fly a little bit closer off the ground. Um, I'm like two meters off the ground. Um, I just want to avoid like rocks and anything that's growing up. Oh, okay, no, no problem. I think it's quite similar so far what we have seen. Yeah, I mean, if you want, you can before. zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Okay. I can fly like that maybe. We'll see how that goes. You can go ahead and zoom in a little, like halfway maybe, like right there. That's fine. Is that better? No, no worries. Um, no, that's pretty good, if yeah. you don't yeah. mind driving like that. yeah. I'll, I'll try this for a little bit. It is hard to see some of these littler things. What's sea uh, lily? It looks like a smaller one of those red sea lilies. I was looking yeah. at that too. It's yeah, like a little bit lighter colored than the other red ones. But also one is beside of the bamboo coral, it looks so small, but one is yeah. um, different perspective. Yeah. Sometimes I'm 
think I'm take picture of this one, but it's this one and I, I know. this one, I get all. Is anyone saying anything cool in the chat, Ashley? Yeah, we're um, getting a couple questions just about the camera setup, whether or not it's tilted down or if that's a normal angle. It is. Uh, the Zeus is tilted down. The cinema cam is like uh, parallel with the porch, so, so it's uh, as parallel to the ground as it can be. And the cinema cam is on satellite feed three, uh, like like usual. Right, Panos? Yes, yes, satellite feed. So the cinema cam is actually sitting on the porch. Shrimp. Oh, look at those sand ripples. It almost looks like um, like when you drop a pebble in a pond and they have those crisscrossing oh, lines. Yeah. It's uh, cool. Interference. Yeah, interference. Pattern. Thank you for the word. I <laughs> I'm having a hard time What's coming okay. up with words back here. Yeah, of course. Is that also a crinoid down on the bottom? Looks like it. It's curled up a little. Yep. Is that a shrimp? Shrimp. <laughs> 70. Ooh, look at those patterns. Yeah, right? These are cool. I like how they, uh, like, you can see the influence of the rocks. Sorry, yeah. well, I, I messed up on the shrimp count. It's 60. Aww. I gave us 10 extra. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got all these tally marks over here. It's a lot to count. I'm joking, of course. <laughs> yeah, I really like the way they, uh, like, you can really see the influence of the rocks. Yeah, like right the refraction there. around them. That's yeah. really awesome. I'm going to take a bunch of photos of this. And you all were saying those were caused by the current, right? That's not necessarily like a worm on the... Mm. Yep. They're most likely the current. I don't think so. Aliens. Who are the Just aliens because they here? could get crushed. And I think this one... No, never mind. These ones are trying to escape as it is. The sea stars. Um, we have two corals in here. I think it would be kind of a gamble that we wouldn't crush one or the other. We have a lot of rocks, though. Is there a specific rock yeah. type that you're interested in? Yeah, that's exactly where I was going. Uh, can you zoom out, please? Yeah, it's getting steeper again. Thank you. Let me see if any of these are distinctive rocks. Can I see the numbers? I'd say we're looking at a rock pile in front of us. Yes. It seems to be some sort of sediment. It's like a cairn up in here. Yeah, this is the summit mound here. We've almost made it. What you're heading. You could double up maybe one of the rocks. Yeah, that's what I was going to try and look at the detailed notes of them to see if there's any that are distinctive we could double up. 
But let me just uh, note some of the things here first. I'm going to be coming up in a second, so coming up. Oh, uh, you need to come up anyway. Oh, yeah. You need to come up really yes, quite I'm a bit. Coming. Yeah, I'm already coming. Looks like there's already three rocks in there. Yeah. It's going to be very heavy. <laughs> so Heavy ROV coming up. There's only one rock in here, though. But that's got Beautiful. a But it's also got a coral. And that bathypathies may float out, which is something concerning. Ooh, that's that candelabra. So beautiful. Primnoid. Cl uh, I think it was Calyptrophora. Had a couple associates in it, too. What is it? 072. Large rock. All right, I'm going to have to see where I'm going. Is that right, Ken? Coming up and it keeps Looks coming like closer. Black coral yeah, the right. we might need to like just go straight up. Just keep going. No, I'm just I'm coming up. So, I mean, you're coming up too. So already four is pretty small. Let's see. O seven one was the first one we collected. Yeah, that one's only ten centimeters. This one is twenty. Well, we. I guess it depends on. If we get good pictures of them, we should be able to distinguish them. Also, a lot of these seem a little bit rounder. Would we be able to distinguish a round rock versus an angular rock, which is mostly what we collected at the lower locations? Yeah. Ooh, look, well, at, look this. at that anemone upside down. Is that a stolonifrin? Oh man, I really need to get ahead of you. Oh, lots more stuff up here. What are all the like white circles that you, you think those are just stalks from? I believe so. There's a squat lobster and a paramarsian. You've got like super focused vision tonight, Jane. Oh, we can see now that's changed a little bit. We're moving bit quite quickly here. Yeah, I need to get in front of Adelina. I see. Looks like we have loads of paramorsia. Oh, there's always something. Let's <laughs> say maybe try to put it in with the bathypathies, but it might be over the what do you think? Of Let me see if that's an important one. If it had like a that might have been the one that we got the worm with, Pretty I'm not sure. Okay. Oh wait, six. Is that a sea star over there to the left? Yeah, yes, it was. A star. I'm not sure if which one oh, and a basket star. Da, 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 is this, the, is this it? This is it. Do we right. get a flag? Oh, really? we well, let's hang here for a oh, sec and look around. We'll probably get a Niskin here. Does yeah, anybody know if the cinema cam is set up to shoot video or is it just photos? It's optimized for um, photos. Yeah. Um, it, it can record but video. It can yeah. record, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to go back to where we were, if you can. Uh, to that little mound? Yeah, the summit. Yep. OK. I'm not sure the ship, uh, you can hold the ship if you want. We might grab a rock here and we might grab a Niskin. And let's take some zooms on these. So I don't think we should put the anything in the with the bath pathies. That's the one with the worm associate. That's quite important. Okay. Um, this is a 20 centimeter angular rock. If we could fit, that might be quite large. Which one did you say was the smaller one? Well, I'm going by this one. So I thought 71 was a 10 centimeter rock. Uh, the sample form says 20. And then uh, 84 says 15. Yeah. And that one has some red. I can't read this word. Some red alteration of some sort. So that one could potentially have one that we could put that in C probably. This one is particularly okay. look weird. That one's like really small. dark. Hmm. Right. I think he's talking about that. 
Uh, so this is the mount. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's zoom. What what's this right here? That I know. That's what I was looking at. I was trying to find a place to uh, try to get landed right, but everything seems to be kind of choppy. Looks a little different, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh man, if it's an octopus. It looks like we have Strains. several kinds of um, paramorcidi. This what is, is that? very interesting. I say Just we like grab a it. Super polished. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a pull. It might be attached, huh? Is that a rock? I think it's just like uh, polished from the current or something. Yeah, yeah. but like it's like obscenely. It's, yeah, it looks like it's part of the bigger, like part of the hillside. Probably can't break that up. Yeah. It's like when you have a statue that everybody touches the one part, like rubs yeah. it for good luck or something. Yeah. Dang. That is really cool, actually, that it's at the apex of this. <laughs> is it possible to zoom? I'm trying to get a... I gotcha. Did you get a good um, triclops? Not yet, because oh. I not, don't manage to focus. Yeah, I'm getting pushed off. But um, we have uh, Cantagorgia here, also Paramorcidi or Cantagorgia. That's really interesting. It's like yeah. it got sandblasted or... Yeah, rubbed. Yeah, there's some shiny looking rock um, just going out of frame on the bottom of the camera too. Shiny rock? <laughs> <laughs> Reflective rock. <laughs> 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 Lots of these pyramids. Oh, you can zoom. Can't think you. It's got an interesting shape to it too, doesn't it? Looks like a... Kind of looks like a Come smile. <laughs> Or like a little manatee. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> I was trying to find the, the manatee, manatee rock. That's good. Yeah, oh, there's wow. something growing in like its ear. Oh, look how strong it is. What kind of the coral is the, the is the white one growing on it? This one. Yep. There's like a. It looks like a. But a gorgeous one, but it usually is not this color. It does look that way. Yeah. You can zoom in as much as you want. I haven't seen a pair of gorgeous this color before. But it looks like the way the polypus are. Yeah. And then you got like a it's little it's cup coral down there. Yeah. Yeah. It, it kind of looks like a what is it, the it thing that mussels have. Tube. Like little feeding tubes for oh mollusks. Yeah. And He's like some zoantids more. You can see how fast the current it's is. It's got a decent focus. Ah, Asako says that um, They've collected the white stems, and actually, the, the polyps themselves might be yellow. If that, well, they've collected ones like that anyway. Look at that star over there, just like trying to blend in with the mat. Looks like a strong current. All these things are yeah, vibrating. Yeah, it was, it was pushing me off. This white one is paramorcid. Sorry. This this thing is what's crazy looking. Oh, it's got something in the eye too, huh? Uh, the manatee's oh, eye. Got pushed off. It's like uh, eyelashes. <laughs> yeah, it looks it's like eyelashes, you're right. I think it's, uh... There you go. It's even smooth down here, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like this is where all the cuskiels come to rub off their uh -huh. associates or something. <laughs> They're parasites. A little back scratch. All right. Um, it is interesting. So, did we want to? Let's. Well, I want to get a Niskin sample here. Uh huh. So, if you want to set up for that, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, how high do you want me to hover? Uh, you can just pull it where you're at. Right here. Do yeah. I need to hover? Okay. It's all good. So this will be our background Niskin. You want to get it? Yeah, I'll grab. Unless you want to. No, that's good. Gives me a chance. There's quite a lot of I don't know. I mean, biology here, too, though. Yeah, it does. It's, yeah. It doesn't have to be the background. Um, it's what's the phone. protocol? Are we supposed to hover? We've been asked to hover uh, in the past, but... Uh, uh, can you zoom all the way up, please? Yeah, we have uh, done it in the past. 
to hover. Sure. But it's literally whatever you want to do. It's that way they get more of everything and not just like what's right here, but right. I personally think sitting is, um, is preferable. Um, the Niskin bottles are, some of them are situated kind of underneath one of the vertical props. So if you're hovering, you could get thruster wash through it. And I don't know if that's a good thing yeah. or not, but I would assume no. Um, uh, track all the way. Are you zoom all the way up? Well, you, the thruster is probably going now, even sitting, right? Or no? Uh, yeah, it's going now. Um, but when we're sitting, it's blowing. The it's thrust will be up. going up, so it wouldn't be. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Um, hovering, it's kind of one or the other. Is that a shrimp? Uh, yeah, I already, I already clocked it oh, too. Nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, let's let's grab it here. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we got plenty if you want to get more. So it seems that we have plenty. Data, what sample number is this? This will be 091, and we'll need uh, Niskin 4. Awesome, thank you. Oh, Niskin good four. job missing the uh, coral there. Yeah. That is funny how this rock is shiny and the others aren't. What number? Four. Four, please. Back to our power ball. Got it. Got it? Already? Yep, yep I saw it. Nice job. Cool. Perfect. Nice job. That was a very small pole, but... All right. That's all it takes, huh? First sample for the watch. Yay! Yay! Yay. Right. <laughs> Everyone else filled them all up. Okay. All right, what do you want to do next? I uh, might get a small rock here. Like that one right there? Right. Anything loose? That looks like it could be loose. One right where the lasers yeah, are? Yeah, looking for something that's like 15 centimeters. At the like the one right there? Okay, let's yeah. see. Yeah. <laughs> Am I close enough? No, you're okay. Um, can you just pan to the right so we can get the um, fingers? I don't want to bring the arm through. Oh, that, okay, through I thought it was good. Idea. Might be welded. We'll see. Uh, in the triclops, it looks like it's yeah completely part of the landscape. It also looks just out of the reach. We got a fish coming up on the left in the triclops. Oh, another halosaur. He's like, "What are you doing?" Um, it is definitely attached. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was just we can look for yeah. something down, further down, down lower or something. If you want to rise up and Ooh. come off this, <laughs> we can look around. It's wild. We can't even see that in the Zeus cam. Yeah, I think it's that wide angle. Oh, beautiful. Oh, uh, Asako, before we go too far, um, one of our shore scientists requested if we could possibly zoom the right single yellow colony next to the white perimerseid. I guess we're kind of moving off of it now, so if it's too late, that's okay. Oh, Where? Sorry. Huh. No, that's all right. I was okay. late to read the message. Sorry. All sorry, right. Asako. Uh, I think we got some good imagery of that whole area, so hopefully it's captured in that. Wow, look at that. The current's just pushing me away. All right. Uh, I need my be mindful of wraps. So I think I need to go that way. Um, you're kind of faced with Atlanta right now, so you'll have zero, you should be zero. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Maybe um, something loose. Just remember which way here. you did it so we can undo it. Down in where again? Can you do that? We're looking for a, sm a loose rock about 10, 15 centimeters. Oh, no, no. I, I didn't see where you telestrated. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm just randomly looking at loose rocks, so it's hard to see without the lasers on it. Or zooming uh, in. Maybe here? Yeah. Well, you could see. It's kind of large. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of space. Yeah, these look promising. Oh, you're sort of up on a ledge, though, aren't you? Yeah. 
Yeah. Are right. we getting pulled? Well, yeah. No, I'm not getting pulled. It's just like the current's like really pushing me. Uh -huh. Pushed. Look at that big sea fan. Loose These are definitely the loose. Seas. Yeah. Uh, right there, like the sand little pit. Tough to get though, if you, unless you can nestle in there. Yeah, you think you can reach that one? I think it's possible. <laughs> oh, oh, there's, there's a few there's options a few yeah. in there. That, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Here we go. They move. Let me rotate a little bit. And shimmy. Squat? Uh, for my first impression, because I think now everything I see, <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's quite lobster, but I think it's on Tomas. It might teeter a little bit, but uh, it'll settle. Okay. All right, I need to see if we can get the, any one of these, I guess. Oh, yeah, I don't have here. a preference. Whatever is easy to grab. Maybe something that's less ink, just in case we need to Like the one right here in the middle, maybe? If that's Less what? Sorry? Less angular and like ra something rounder and small. Oh, we're a little farther than it we look, eh? Um. In this side, Flops camera, have a look behind the arm. Behind it? Can't get that one either. What am I looking no, at? They're what larger I? than they look. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh, is that just still an different coral? Um, there's a tiny the right. guy there. Huh? You can to the right. I unfortunately can't get the arm in there yeah, from yeah, this yeah. angle. Um, Want to try here? over here? Yeah, that one. Um, okay, bear with me here for a second. I can paint a little bit more, I think, no, and then I'm going to. Uh, um, where's the remote? I'm gonna turn us. Okay. That's Hi, fine. Hey, so when we're done with the rock collection, we should ask to see if we can zoom on that, maybe. Yeah. No, we're not. I don't want to put any more pressure on that. So I got the bubble on you as well. So if you yeah. need a, like an alternate quasi, it's not that much. This one feels mm. pretty solid. Oh, they're not loose, huh? No, this one's not. Anyway, oh maybe it is. Oh, oh it's no. loose. It's sh oh, take it. It's loose. It's just big. How big? It's not so bad. If it's too big, then I can. We'll find. I think we can oh, squeeze yeah, okay. it in. Somewhere. Yeah, I think it, I think it's not as big as I thought it was. Okay. How about you move away from those other rocks first? There's also something on it. Perfect. Can you bring it in for a rotation? Oh, yeah, no. oh how, look at that! See how big it is compared to okay. the lasers. Can you zoom in a little bit? Can you zoom in on the rock? I don't know if we have a spot for this though, huh? Uh, this is approximately maybe 20, maybe. 20 centimeters. Yeah, the only real space okay. we have that we can put this in is one of the smaller starboard bio boxes that already has a 15 centimeter rock. Do they want a really altered rock like this? Yeah, that's the other thing. Is this too much altered? Oh, it's like, yeah, it's ugly. Yeah. Okay, um, zoom out. We'll I thought it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> it is. No, it's. In, I mean, any rock oh. is valuable for the can science, we? but um, I can put this one back. Yeah. It'd be nice to find one smaller. But can you can you zoom on the rock? 
Why is that so? Can you zoom in, please? What's that fluffy white stuff? Yeah, that was what Haisa and I were talking about. <laughs> oh, right there? Yeah. yeah. What is that? Is that a stoloniferin coral, perhaps? Oh, or okay. But good eye. I didn't oh. see any of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I All right, zoom out. Saw it during the rock zoom. We could have thrown it and tried to break it. Sorry? We could have thrown it and tried to break it. Just. <laughs> uh, rocks this together? one just left of center? Left of the big rock? Sorry, Where? can you uh, circle it on the telescope? Oh, no, that's me talking. Oh, oh, sorry. oh you talk um, about this one right here? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, little so little if you look at this rock right here by the cam. Yeah. And then, like, right above it. There's that, yeah, so I will, that's at like full extent of yeah, the arm. If you could oh. it's, as, it's as big as the jaws are when they're wide open, so it's quite, it's much bigger than it looks. No, 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 not the one you tried, the one above that. I can't reach that one. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, we could always move, I guess. You mean, you're talking about that one? That one up here, right? Yeah, yeah, you no, can't reach it. More in, in, yep. Yep. You're yep. talking about this one. Yeah, I'm talking yeah, about Yeah, but you see, you see what I mean? Like, it's almost as big as the jaws. Okay. So I don't think it's going to fit, unfortunately. Gotcha, All right, gotcha. we can uh, look um, around. We can continue to look around. Yeah, it's fine. We can bail out from this location if yeah, you can't I get... I just can't quite get into that one. No. It's not gonna happen. It's not. It's and it's pretty like in there. We'll have to find a different spot for. Yeah, rocks. don't worry about it. We can bail on this. We're having a really hard time figuring out where to put it on the vehicle anyway. Okay. Roger. Hold it on the porch. But yeah. It would need to be small. He did not be able Just to close it. Just give it to the, the five arm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We can we can forget the rock. Good try. Uh, and I was glad we took a look at that rusty one. So. Showed us what we were looking at. Yeah, we could also do one of the things where we can hold and it on the porch. And I really like that polished one we were looking at earlier. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to sign out and hand this over to Leela. And what I thought we'd do, Lynette, is um, is uh, just go down the uh, west side. Okay. So it does look like there's another peak, like yes. 80 meters south. Yeah. This oh, really? This is not the top. Yeah. Top. You can see it in Atalanta's sonar there. In the mezzo. Oh, wow, the you're right. There. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe you can look for a little rock there. You know, something like that big. Thank you. Yeah, there's another peak. Um, do we want to move over there? Um, I'm going to wait until Leela gets on, I guess. Cool, thanks. No. No. We had one probably from way before, one, though. Yeah. One from earlier. I didn't realize how slope, much yeah. of a inlet, like a little divot that I, was in, that I put myself well, in. Well, they're abundant. We can it looks flat to me. So, yeah, we'll chill here until they tell me what to do, so. I'm stubborn and I want to get a rock. Can you go full zoom? Thank you. Uh, just waiting on marching orders. Left. And in the meantime, left, we'll just enjoy right, the view. Left. Okay. All right. Uh, full wide, please. All right, hi friends. Hi, <laughs> hello. So hello. if you could, before you go, have a look. I'm just waiting, I'm just kinda. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to sample one of these paramarissids whenever it's a good time ship move wise. One of the what? The yellow corals. Oh, oh there's the English. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, okay. Well, we're stopped right now, right? Yes. So. Okay. We can, we can make Do we have a fun spot to put it? Are we going to uh, slurp it? Um, yeah, we have one slurp left. We could also put it in some of the starboard. Yeah, I don't boxes. know that slurping would be our best collection option, but if we could put it, it was set down somewhere stable enough to put it in the starboard, that would be great. Come on. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where am I in relation to everything? You're okay. Everything looks uh, relatively happy. All right. Um, you said you want a yellow one, yeah? A yellow one. And since they might be different yellow ones, I mean a little bit one another, but we can start start with one of the yellow ones. This current, man. Oh, is it really strong up here? Yeah. He's wanting to turn me. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> if there's a direction that would be better in the current or better for stowing the sample. All right, we're good. Okay. Um, is that one okay? Is it coming right now from the left of our screen? What? It is, yeah. From uh, the yeah, east dish. Um, okay, great. Yeah, then that's good. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Is this okay? That okay stand yeah. by, stand by. We're going to do a test here if we can hold because we're on the side of the hill. I'm going to take mm. off that starboard vert and see if we can hold Oh, station. yeah. Uh, and it's off. Let's see what happens. I can try to, like, get it, set it. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. Everyone hold your breath. Yeah, it's on stick lock, so it's not going nowhere. Should we zoom on this yes. before we take a sample? I was about to say that, yeah. No. <laughs> no zooms. Please, pretty please. No zooms <laughs> all the way. Oh, the palms are out. Yeah. We got the yellow one, right? Yep. Yes. The purple one? Looks like it's got Is a the purple one there. also a paramarsia? Oh, no, boy. the Victor Gorges are in a different group. Who, Steve was, was saying that, was that some you? of the Victor Gorges are actually had more whiter bases. Some of the purple ones might also be. Interesting. But maybe not what? this one. Uh, what was that? That's a good zoom. It looks like there's a Atlanta? lot of little brittle stars we're going to have to separate from it. Oh, really small ones? Um, yeah. I wasn't sure. Um, but we were, you know, 22 apart. So yeah. I decided to give you a little bit of slack. Right. Oh, cool. Ooh, there was a jelly. Cool. Yeah, jelly cool jelly. hydromedusa. Okay. All right. Um, if that's what's, yeah. Are you, are you sure yeah. that's mm -hmm. the one? Yeah, okay. So in that case, we can't put it in Biobox F because there's already ophiroids and coral. Okay, it can go with the uh, mollusks and the bath puppies, yeah. Really? Yeah? In the forward Biobox? Oh, no, no, yeah, right. there, okay, yeah. Sorry. What else is in the, uh, was there I don't know why you said mollusks. I was <laughs> sea stars, which is not even the right phylum. I, well, I'm going to let them figure it out. Uh, zoom out, please. It can go, yeah, in there or on any of the rocks, but the big one's probably well, best. You, you make the call. Just let us know if there's, like, a floaty. Um, there's there's a black coral in E, um, but I don't want to make you try and cram this in any of the smaller ones. Are those ones at so. the 
What about uh, these ones though too? The bottom right there, are those the same? Are these okay? Uh, Can, this might be easier to get. I just, Could we might be, zoom on it? Zoom on that, yeah. It'll be easier uh, to get those without, because the other one's got that, zoom? I don't know what the purple one's called. And it, and it has less stars. It does. Like any one of these two. Um, is that all the way in? Um, I mean, if you, yeah, go, you can go all the way in if you can. It's all the way in. Okay. As long as we have a good If you really want the other one, we can, you know. That's okay. I'll do my best. We can, I just, we can do this one. It'll be hard to do it without disturbing the other. Just want to make sure we have a good image. Yeah, because sure. all the yellow ones are not necessarily the same. Um, oh. Yeah, so we can go for the, for the one on the right. The one on the right, the yep. bigger one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. they look about the same. Do you just want a snip, or do you want like just a snip? Yeah. Um, like if you were like to fifteen centimeters, if you were to cut it, it's hard without the oh, there's the laser. No, 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 no. Like maybe this branch there or something. The yellow on yellow is not great contrast. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, I did. I yeah. think okay. I zoom. A full a full zoom out, please. The one we zoomed in on was the smaller one, though. Yeah, yeah. that's it's okay. They're the, they look the same. But then uh, let me get bubble on for you. For alternate. It also doesn't, it can be the top branch if that's easier, oh. just something around that size. Sure. Um, can you zoom in, Pops? Yeah, yeah, you can zoom in. Uh, you wanna, this is all the way panned over to the You right. wanna turn on the port slides? Um, I, I don't have think, yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, no, right not there. yet. Uh, can you, a little, a little bit more to the right? Little, that's just as far as it goes. Oh, that's as far as it goes, eh? Okay. Well, then that's oh, what I mean, we'll I could do try doing what? that, see what that, that might help on that camera. Oh, you got it. It's too close to the rock. You can get it like halfway closed. Uh, I, I think this is going to be an acanthogorgia because those polyps are not closing. Is that enough? Oh, uh, that's definitely enough, yeah. Great. Oh, it's all like oh, rigid. Don't come, don't come, don't come. You're going to kind of like shake it, maybe? Yeah. Maybe you need to get further in. Yeah. Can't get further in. My jaw's on the rock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, buddy. I believe in you. Oh. Yeah. 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 Nice. Okay. Yeah, zoom out. Yeah. All right. You already turned the bird off, huh? Yes, I did. Okay. There are floaties, correct? There yeah. Are, so are the floaties. one in BioBox E has a. Oh, hold a on a second. Hold on a second. Thank you. A black coral that I'm ho hoping is not just. It shouldn't be that floaty. I believe it was a whole, no, it wasn't a whole colony, but it was most of a colony that had the worm on it that I think we sampled for okay. last watch. Um, so where are the floaties? Biobox e. e. Where this is going. And that's where we're hoping to put this. Uh, so E is the first front, yeah? Yep. Okay, so I, I may not, is there any other floaties in the back? Uh, e is the first big no, one? No, they're all rocks otherwise, just as long as we have the thrusters off. Yeah, we have the thruster off, but sometimes you never know. So, okay, I'm going to extend out then. Ready? Yep. Nice. Yay, no do you floating. Need, do you need more? Uh, nope, that should be good. James, are you good? Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, that's fine. Just a little nope, focus. That's fine, that's fine. Wow, you make it look easy. Nice. Okay. Sweet. That was sample 092. Awesome. Thank you. Um, cool. Now I guess we can try and head up to that the other summit. 